Hello everyone. Welcome again to another edition of Submerge Me PC. I started thinking after the last video that a few of you out there, along with myself, started wondering what my attempts may be after, say, a good session of gaming. You know, what would the max attempts be? What would it kind of idle at until it kind of you know, came down what the actual temps would be inside the tank, um, and so forth. They really started to get me thinking. So what I did was, is I went ahead and pulled up the Valley Benchmark by Uni Engine, and just let it run for about, if you can see here on the Task Manager, for about an hour and 45 minutes or so. So I figured that gave me a good baseline as far as how hot the car was going to get. It looked like over here inside the software for ASUS GPU two week software, it got to about 58 degrees, which isn't bad for about an hour and a half, hour 45 minutes worth of gaming. Uh, it, it basically just just kind of similar to the gaming. Like I said, I just let it run over and over, just loop over and over and over again um, for about an hour and 45 minutes so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is actually I'm gonna go ahead and just restart the system real quick go ahead boot it back up and get everything pulled back up and then I'm gonna basically just kick off a valley benchmark and let you see in here what I've been hearing for the past hour and 45 minutes <laughs> anyway see you guys on the other side a few moments later and we are back I'm glad you can make it I went ahead and pulled up all of our monitoring software and the task manager just let this system run it's been running for about five minutes now as you can see here in the task manager just letting you see the overall max temp over here in core temp as far as the max temps when you know, it's pond boot, the minimum temp so far, as far as just sitting here idle, um, so far the, the active temps we have. Looking over here, the temperatures we have on our GPU upon boot, the high was about 38. Is you know, minimum was about 34. Looks like it's currently running around 35. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, I think the best way to do this would be probably to go ahead and reset the temperatures here on the high-low that way once we can you know get a baseline just give it a minute so you can kind of see just in case you're comparing with the previous video just let you look at here real quick and then we'll reset these I'll load up the benchmark software kick off a benchmark once it loads and then I'll see you on the other side
come back to the desktop. Check out our temps. Okay, so during all that, it looks like here, our maximum temperature we saw on our hottest core was 66 degrees. Our GPU got up to about 56 degrees. Looks like our boost clock had a max value of 2100, which isn't too bad. Now, just for the sake of disclosure, I do want to say this. Um, during the benchmarking game play session and whatever you you know want to call it, you know, call it what you will. I did notice that the temperatures actually fluctuated from about 57 to 58 degrees during that hour and 45 minute time span that it was sitting there running constantly. The temperatures in the tank actually reached up to about 31 degrees around the CPU and about 29 degrees coming out of the pump. Now during the whole restarting of the computer, uh, getting everything ready for you guys to kind of see the you know, run and everything like that. The tank temperatures actually dropped down one degree. Now, during that whole test run, during uh, it never went back up to 29 and 31. It still stayed at 30 degrees around the CPU, and it's still currently 28 degrees uh, around out of the pump, uh, according to my temperature probe that you could, you know, possibly have seen in one of my previous videos. So uh, other than that, um, I'll go ahead and I'll run down the software just in case you're not familiar with this benchmark. It's just a Valley benchmark, you know, by Uni Engine, the same one that makes the Heaven benchmark. It's custom preset, uh, DirectX 11, Quality Ultra. There is no tessellation on this one, but the anti-aliasing is at 8x, and of course, full HD 1920 by 1080 resolution. So other than that, um, I can sit here and show you that let you look at the idle temps for a minute before we get out of here. And that'll give you a chance to uh, make sure you like and subscribe. Uh, there's definitely going to be a ton more content coming around. So uh, hope to see you guys soon. Thanks.